Why does x equal r theta? Well, we want to figure out the length of an arc. We want to know what x is. Well, there's one arc that you know how to get already, and that's the circumference of a circle. You know that circumference is 2 pi times the radius. OK, what does that get us? What fraction of the circle are we talking about? Well, if we have theta degrees out of 360 degrees, that would be the fraction of the circle. And that fraction times 2 pi r should equal x. OK, so far so good. Um, that formula is correct. It's just a bit messy. Is there any way we could clean it up? Well, it turns out the reason that these units are here, like the 360, that's just because of the way we define degrees, right? If we'd said there were 10 woozles in a circle, then there would have been a factor of 10. So we could change the units of how we measure angle. I mean, you can talk about how many turns or revolutions. You can talk about how many degrees. And this is why radians were invented. Radians were defined so that theta in radians equals theta in degrees times 2 pi over 360. That's the whole idea. So that this whole mess becomes theta in radians. And we get x equals r times theta, but that theta has to be in radians.